Hi folks, how you doing? It's Kenny here again and today we're out on another adventure. This is uh, end of November and it's just gone half past eight and we're down at um, just a place called Craig. That's the Grey Coolags over there and we are heading for a outlying Monroe called Meal and I and the hill we are heading for is round the corner there at Glenuig Bothy and you can see the snow cap on the hills there very icy today it was minus six in the car park so it's got to have the full winter gear today let's go and see what this adventure brings today i've got a set of ice therm gloves here and um, to give them a wee try and um, we'll see how they get on keep our hands warm in this cold temperature you maybe just see how icy it is here and we're heading six or seven kilometers in that direction just disturbed all the deer there and set them off up into the glen there that is our ascent route and the bothies round behind this copse of trees here very very icy underfoot Came off the bike once, so far, <laughs> hopefully no more, nearly there. Yeah, hopefully you can see the bothy just dead ahead. So after passing the tree cops there, we come up for a wee while and then we're at the bothy. Although they do, they, you don't use this bothy, we've got a wee house at the side. We'll continue along here and we'll have a wee look at the house. There you have it, electricity for a wee heater, quick bunk beds, some lighting, the USB point there, very nice, certainly doing an emergency here, you know, set of wet ones. <laughs> now just check your bearings for a picture of set in there, back of my roost in the cord bit in there, and then all the way around here to the cycle route will be down at the point there and then the two men rows there that are normally attached to me alone there if you fancy it but I left them out specifically to come back here on a winter's day so here we are my usual way of doing this hill is follow the track there, ford the river head up to the gully ridge there and follow the river and then start meandering up onto that slope there and then up onto the ridge plateau and then out to Mjölundi you can come back down the circuit here We look back to the Bothy there and the demoted Monroe there which is attached to Marusk looking excellent in this morning sunshine
So once you come up past the waterfalls and the last one there you start bearing up following the stream to the cleft there and then it's a straightforward yomp up to the summit itself privilege today, cold but fantastic views. And the final section up there, another 50 metres of ascent. Well folks, scored a coconut today, bit chilly, bit cold, it's winter, but the views are astounding. That's the other top over there, and there's uh, Melchon and Jerig and the Grey Kulags, straight through Torridon there, and the Fanix. We've also got um, Slee up there and then spinning around here, Ben Tarson, straight through there to Koigak Vora Ullapool and Antiliak. Wow, some beautiful scenery. Ben Jerrig's group, Ben Wivis and that. Absolutely amazing today.
chill Baltic <laughs> 8.8 .8 there I don't know if you could make it out, but that's the cooling the way through there. But and that's the two Monroes there that are. Oh, that's the second Monroe. There's two in a row there. And you come off that shoulder to come across to Mulundi if you want to do the three of them. Minus 8.6, 8.7, minus 8.7 in the wind chill. Closer look into the Kulags there, the Great Kulags, and then across there to the Torridon range. And the attack looks different, doesn't it? And over to Sleak, there the Fisher Fields, and the Fanex. Ben Jerrig and his gang over there and straight through Koigai Vor and all the way down there to Wivis and Co. So if you were continuing across to the other two main roads you could do that way and then up that spot. It's a long way for today anyway but I've already been over them so anyway that's all the big boys over that side there. Just left the top of Carnam Fjeklin there. I had to put the crampons on and the ice axe because it's a bit icy underfoot and I don't want to lose my footing down here and get into a skate so I've got the gear, better start using it eh? Anyway let's go, we're on a bearing and we're heading down in that direction there to rejoin our ascent route eventually but it'll be steep. So I'd stop here for a moment and show you the descent route I took. Probably no recommended, I had to keep uh, spikes on my feet all the way down, pretty steep. And anyway, we're nearly there. We're getting towards the Bothy, which is just over there. And we'll keep the spikes on because it's still pretty icy. And we'll head for the track and get the bike. So this is nearly back at the Bothy. And it's just to cycle out, so not really much to show you on that. I hope you enjoyed that wee outing with me there as we did Mel Londy there from uh, Glen Hugh Bothy. Um, very testing today, very icy underfoot and very cold. Um, the gloves themselves that I tested and tried, excellent, well worth the money. Um, industrial gloves, but guaranteed protection against the ice and the cold. So. A massive amount of eight quid was invested. <laughs> but uh, they'll do, they'll be excellent for the bike and they provided protection when I was using the poles. Still got my good gloves, you know, seal skin and Montan prism and stuff like that, but these ones are ideal if you're looking for a set to keep you going. Uh, so, if you enjoyed the video and the content, which I hope you did, then please like and subscribe and comment and just keep the YouTube channel going a wee bit, eh? Uh, so thanks for your support anyway and I'll catch up with you the next time eh? ETB, cheers